Hello everyone. While solving the questions from CAT 2020 slot 1, I'll take a standard approach. I'll go through the basic approach first and if there is any shortcut or any method or any way in which we could have solved the question in a much easier manner, then I'll discuss it after discussing the basic method. So let's get on with the question from CAT 2020 slot 1 that you've come for. Another very interesting algebra question. What does it say here? The number of real valued solutions of the equation 2 to the x plus 2 to the minus x equals 2 minus x minus 2 whole squared. As this question contains an equation which is not exactly a polynomial equation, especially because the power has variables in it. x is in the power on the left hand side. We will have to think something special about how to solve this question. Now, first let me write the equation. It states 2 to the x plus 2 to the minus x that is 1 over 2 to the x equals 2 minus x minus 2 the whole squared. Now the entire question rests on a simple fact that this expression will always yield a value which is greater than or equal to 2 and this expression will always yield a value which is less than or equal to 2. So in fact they can be equal in only one case when the left hand side is also 2 and the right hand side is also 2. But that will not happen simultaneously for any single value of x. But then how do I come to such conclusions? Let's go in a step by step manner to understand that. Notice that the expression on the left hand side 2 to the power x plus 1 over 2 to the power x is of the form the sum of a number and its reciprocal. So if I consider 2 to the power x to be a then the left hand side becomes a plus 1 over a and also 2 to any real power will never be negative. 2 raised to any real power will always be positive. Therefore I can conclude that a is greater than 0. Now if a is greater than 0 that is for any positive real number you would remember a plus 1 by a is always greater than or equal to 2 and therefore the value of the expression on the left hand side will always be greater than 2 or equal to 2. Now let's think about the right hand side. The right hand side has an expression which is 2 minus a perfect square. You would recall that any perfect square is always greater than 0 or equal to 0. Using that concept, I can say that if I multiply this inequality with a negative sign, I would get minus of x minus 2 whole square will always be less than or equal to 0. Adding 2 on both sides of the inequality, I get 2 minus x minus 2 whole squared will always be less than or equal to 0 plus 2 which is 2. Which means that the left hand side expression is always less than or equal to 2. Now if this is always greater than or equal to 2 and this is always less than or equal to 2, they will satisfy only under one condition the equality that the left hand side is also equal to 2 and the right hand side is also equal to 2. So let us find out when is the left hand side equal to 2 and when is the right hand side equal to 2. The equality in this situation is when a is equal to 1. So a equals to 1 means 2 to the x equals to 1 or x equals to 0. And the equality in this case is when x minus 2 whole squared is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 2. So the expression on the left hand side will be 2 when x is equal to 0 but the expression on the right hand side will be 2 when x is equal to 2. As that is not possible simultaneously the expressions on the left hand side and right hand side will never have a value which is equal to each other and therefore we don't have any real solution to this equation. Answer 0. If you were good with graphs, 
you could also have solved this question using a graphical approach. You can plot the graphs for the left hand side and the right hand side using transformations that you learnt in your graphs and transformations class. 2 to the power x plus 1 over 2 to the power x is a function which looks like this. Whereas 2 minus x minus 2 the whole squared using transformations as I described will be something like this. When they are simultaneously plotted on a graph, they will look something like this. Hence, these graphs will never intersect and therefore there will be no real solution to this question. Thank you.